solar, solar thermal panels like this heat hot water. So um, they make good sense to install where there's a need where you need to heat water on a continual basis 12 months a year. So we, we installed, this was a one good place, we installed them at our Albee Hall swimming pool. Um, that needs, that the swimming pool needs, the water needs to be heated year round. Even though you'd think in July you wouldn't need it, you still do. At, uh, at Blackhawk Commons we heat water for washing dishes and food preparation. And at Taylor Hall, Taylor is our year round residence hall, so it's there to heat hot water for showers and washing hands and things. We also installed, uh, or are in the process of installing 50 panels on the roof of our new academic building, Sage Hall. Um, that's a little bit different because um, we are using that, that hot water um, to heat the building, which isn't typically done with solar thermal systems. This is actually um, a more efficient use of solar power. To, it's, you can more efficiently capture, the, at a cheaper price, the sun's radiation to heat water than to create electrons. So it's, um, it makes good economic sense. We have the largest collection of solar thermal panels in the state, not just in state government, but in the state. So um, we have 170 of these, um, these panels on our campus.